Yes. <clears throat> I think this is it from the questions. And remember, there's no questions from the non-Muslims. No questions, I mean, excuse me, from the Muslims. No questions from the Muslims and no comments from the Muslims. This is only for the non-Muslims. Only for the non-Muslims. And you know one of the reasons why, besides because this is your day, there's another reason, non-Muslims, there's another reason, non-Muslims, why we're not accepting any comments from the Muslims. You know why? I'm going to I'm going to tell you the truth, because I'm a Muslim. I'm going to speak the truth. Because sometimes the Muslims, they ask questions that mess things up. So we don't want them to confuse you. That's why we have certain people making the presentation to you that we believe they understand something about Islam and they will get things right. We don't want just anybody saying anything because they made something that say something that's incorrect. So we don't want to confuse the issue. All right? Now my brother, who's also from North, are you from North, right? Oh, you're from Montclair all this time. I thought Shadi was from North, man. He was raised in East Town. That's close enough. That's close enough. It's good to see you, sir. Now, the last question Christianity teaches that prophets sin. Is that true? This is a very, very good question in my conclusion. In Islam, we do not believe that prophets or messengers or apostles sin. You know why? One of the reasons. A prophet and a messenger is one who receives divine revelation from the Lord of the world. If he's going to the people to invite them and call them to worshiping the one God who deserves to be worshiped by himself, and to also change their moral behavior. Do you think it would be right for that prophet to commit the same sins of the people that he's going to to call them? Do you think that would be right for a prophet to drink alcohol to some people and he is a homosexual himself telling them to stop homosexuality? I'm telling you... <coughs> excuse me, I've got, got beer in that. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop drinking. I'm telling you to do not commit adultery. And you just saw him coming out of a brothel? A whorehouse? Do you think that would be right? No. So the Lord of the world sent those people that while they were receiving revelation, they were infallible. They are people who don't commit the things that we commit against our own souls. This is one of the reasons why prophets don't sin. This is the belief in Islam because that message has to be accepted by someone who practice, practices what he preaches. So please excuse me now. Our brother's here to, uh, to put the icing on the cake. It is the will of God. And we ask Allah once again, the Lord of the worlds, to guide you to that which is correct. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.